For more, let's cross to Brussels. Fabienne Keller, member of the European Parliament from uh, Emmanuel Macron's Renew Centrist Bloc. Thank you for being with us here on France 24. Hello. Uh, first off, your, your reaction to, uh, to some of the gripes you heard from those farmers in that report. Of course, they share a long-standing uh, number of problems, like uh, for some of them having a too low revenue as compared to the number of hours of work they spend every week. Concerning the, the administrative burden, this must be heard also. It's about you know, simplification, even though the new rules taking better into account environmental uh, effects of their farm uh, are a little bit complicated. This is how it is. Is, um, the, is the gripe that they have that the rules apply more to France than neighboring countries? Is that a fair point? Uh, concerning pesticides and uh, forbidden chemical products, this is the case for some of them, uh, because France wanted to anticipate, to put in place a little earlier than planned uh, by uh, European law, uh, the fact we reduce the use of certain chemical products. But this is the issue of the environmental effect of uh, the, the agricultural production uh, and the pace chosen by, uh, uh, by Europe and the sensitivity of some natural areas. And we have very nice ones in France where you see already the consequences of uh, pollution and uh, chemical products. So this is all to be discussed with them. And uh, this is how we were able for a fam famous product used in the sugar plants, for the beets plants, um, where we decided not to forbid it, but to try to reduce it as much as possible when there is an alternative for the farmer. So we have to discuss with them to find uh, operational uh, uh, solutions. They are clearly in anger. There is an issue of consideration also because they have been considered uh, by some hard uh, uh, radical environmental people to be the, the destro people destroying the environment. So maybe they, uh, they react also because of this uh, suffering of image they have known for, for months and years now. So the question is to you know, be able to discuss with them and find constructive solutions in a European framework, because I think they usually recognize that the European policy is needed uh, to be, first of all, it's a very old policy, it's one of the first ones in the 60s, and also because it's useful in front of uh, international competition. Yeah, the, the, is, the, the uh, common agricultural policy, uh, which is the, the, the subsidy system, still the biggest line item in the European Union, uh, a budget, and we've seen, Fabienne Keller, that uh, uh, there have been tractors not just marching on Paris, but also this Monday on Hamburg in Germany, uh, in Romania. Do you feel as though the energy transition, hindsight being 2020, was perhaps rushed through? All those things that we're discussing now should have been discussed earlier. I must say that the environmental issues discussed recently in the Green Deal are not yet in place. They are not applied. So what we are talking about here is the reform of the agricultural policy decided, voted two years ago, that's now implemented. And you are right in saying that there are demonstrations all over Europe, the Dutch even earlier, like 18 months ago. Um, so there is a European uh, discussion that has to take place, but farmers want to do it to find the solution in a more European way, because the issue is also the, the international competition and the issue of some trade agreements where we do not apply to the imports the same constraints as we imply internally in Europe. And this is what France wants to change. We want to put in all those international trade agreements the same rules as the ones we apply in our internal market. So they can count on us, the farmers can count on us to defend them. 
but we have this very specific situation with Ukraine. To help Ukraine, we decided to lower down the uh, the taxes, the entry taxes for Ukrainian cereals, and that made a, a big competition for cereals within Europe. So, so what's the solution ta- for that, for, for the fact that... We, uh, we have to reevaluate because nobody thought it would last so long because the, the war will be now uh, two years long. Nobody uh, believed at the beginning of the war that it would last so long. So we have to find a, a more balanced way to help Ukraine. And also this is the issue of the revision of the, uh, the financial scheme of aid to Ukraine, we have to give direct help. And as you may know, uh, Orban, the prime minister of Hungary, blocks the financing of Ukraine. Uh, Paying, helping cereals to be exported to Europe was a short-term solution and it's clearly not sustainable for the agriculture. So that means the return of tariffs on Ukrainian uh, imports of agricultural goods and fertilizers? Re- reorganize. As you know, they were not able to export anymore their cereals through the port on their uh, eastern borders. So they uh, uh, made it transport and sold through the European markets. And that destabilized first the Polish market and then several European uh, cereal markets. Uh, creating harm to a lot of farmers. But I'm not saying that we should not help the Ukrainians, on the contrary, but we should help them in a more direct way uh, rather than by the the direct prices, uh, by the lower edges of taxes that put the cereal price within Europe at a lower level. At a disadvantage. One final question for you, Fabienne Keller. We've kind of seen this movie before. It's not the first time we've seen uh, farmers protest And what we've seen in the past is at the end of the day, um, the big um, uh, industry representatives in France called the FNSEA, they they carve out uh, an agreement that's favorable to uh, uh, the biggest farmers that get uh, the lion's share of those uh, European subsidies and the small farmers get hurt the most. Will it be the same this time? I hope not. This is one of the main issues to help the farmers that are in difficulties and not to have a global aid, for example, to the ton of of meat or or cereals that would indifferently uh, help the big ones and the small ones. But being on the the amount, on the weight, it would help more the big. This was all about, that was a central point in the reform of the agricultural policy. Apparently, we did not... Uh, uh, aim uh, totally right. We have to adjust things, but we should not leave on the side this objective. That is, we wish to have uh, an efficient agriculture, but also farmers in our mountains, farmers in our difficult areas. Uh, So it's important to help the farm and not only the the amount of uh, cereals or meat produced. Fabienne Keller, many thanks for speaking with us from Brussels. Many thanks.